Project-based learning is the primary tool that we use instructionally. Uh, and that, I think, looks familiar. What goes along with it, though, is the articulation of a set of learning outcomes that really guide the design of projects and actually guide the assessment practice in those schools. And so this offers actually a systematic sort of alternative that lines up more fully with the reality that public schools usually have to navigate. Um, so those learning outcomes for us are uh, knowledge and thinking, oral communication, written communication, agency, and collaboration. Uh, and as I said, that, those are sort of the design pillars at which teachers will design projects around. And then we have a, a, a platform, an online learning platform called ECHO that actually allows them to, to grade and assess those outcomes systematically as well. The biggest challenge is to advancing deeper learning in schools and districts. So the first thing I'd say are just our, our mindsets are we have a really well-worn definition and picture of what we think school looks like sort of ingrained in every adult's head in this country. And that mental model is hard to overcome. Uh, and deeper learning, when you, follow, when you follow it to sort of its full, its full conclusion, pushes on that picture in pretty significant ways. And so getting people to think really differently about learning and that Carnegie units aren't the best measure or that learning can happen outside of school or that students can actually learn through the process of engaging in real world problems. Those are nice little phrases for me to utter, but pretty radical ideas in the context of the way we organize public schools. The deeper learning approach for us is something that's a little different than a traditional experience where you would have um, a teacher stand up and lecture and then you may take an assessment after the lecture. Well, in this particular case, in deeper learning, the students are actually doing the research and doing the lecturing, and it creates a different model where the research-based information that the students are bringing forth to the community or whatever they're trying to solve, it's a problem that they're trying to solve in real time that's also connected with state standards. So I remember, uh, meeting a young lady several years ago. And I wanted to know, is this experience a real experience? And she says, I've done probably 20 projects. I can remember everything about every standard and every project connected to that work. It sold me then. Uh, the only thing that was funny about it, she says, now uh, my mom is ready for me to leave this experience so that I can get all those projects out of my bedroom. So for us, oh, we believe that Deeper learning is, is not just about the content, right, in a way. It's really about how you present the content and how you create an environment so that children can really dig deeper and learn in a different way. We wanted to get away from, we believe, and, and I believe, and we, we, I led the work in this way, we believe that you will not get deeper learning in a school system unless kids are forced to search for answers. So therefore, we thought a major change in pedagogy is that we didn't want to have that much lecture. We wanted to switch from maybe 80, 90% lecture to the, to the opposite. So 80, 90% collaborative, student-led learning with teachers acting more as facilitators and lecturers. The way that I, I try and um, work deeper learning into my class and into the projects is trying to make connections to um, people out in our community. So I've been fortunate to have a lot of projects that involve things and entities and organizations outside of our classroom. So um, it may be working with a nonprofit group to design a logo and, um, or come up with marketing materials for um, an organization's event that they're trying to host. And I think bringing in that person to kind of say, hey, we need y'all digital media students to, to do this for us, you know, it just kind of gets them hooked on it. And so it's not just, hey, today we're gonna make a logo in class, it's we're gonna be making a logo that this company is gonna be using that, and a lot of times working with these nonprofit organizations, they're doing good things in the community. So by us giving this nonprofit a logo, that's gonna help them be able to go out and continue to kind of market and brand themselves to keep doing good things in the community. To me, it just gets the kids hooked and they're just really, they, they get into it. So it's not just, hey, I'm doing a project for a teacher. It's I'm doing this project that's gonna have an impact on people's lives.